was sponsored by the FHWA, and part of that program re required the use of precast substructure elements as a means of speeding up construction to uh, minimize the disruption to traffic on I-85. And uh, we're in the process right now of setting the first precast elements. To uh, facilitate delivery of the precast columns, at uh, each day we take delivery, we put a lane closure in at 9 o'clock in the morning. The columns are delivered. They're offloaded from the trucks and set on the ground. And then once the trucks leave, the uh, lane closures are removed. So the disruption to traffic is kept to a minimum. This morning we took delivery of four columns. We had our lane closure in for about an hour and a half. So uh, the disruption to traffic is, is really minimized by utilizing this process. Uh, we've been setting two columns a day for the past couple days. Today we've taken delivery of four, and we're going to try to set four columns today. This process is as new to us as it is to everybody. This is the first time precast substructure has been used in the state of Georgia on a bridge project. So we've been going through the process slowly, trying to go through the learning curve and uh, develop an efficient way to, to erect this precast.